So this is the very first exercise that I outlined in the waking up your sleepy glute section of the four of the plan and it's movement one, flex on a step. Gary, um, you introduced me to this exercise a few years ago. Can you just talk me through and, and hopefully people watching this video, what are the key things to focus on when doing yeah. this? Let's give them some key insights. So first of all, obviously put your right foot or left foot, whichever leg you choose to do. Um, hopefully we'll get you to do both um, on the step. And what do we need you to do? Just to bend the knee. And the intention of bending the knee is to get the weight into the forefoot. So a lot of people hold the weight here. Get the weight into the forefoot and specifically try and get those knuckles weight bearing on the ground. So these toe knuckles, you want, yeah. you want weight into them? Into, the, into okay. them, yeah. And what that will do is starts to bring the pelvis forward. But I'll just notice here that the stride length is a little too long. And, and my reference point for that here is the center of the pelvis is actually between the feet. Now in this movement, if you have to leave the weight in the leg behind and get the weight into the front foot. So if you narrow the stride a tiny bit, then you'll be able to start to get the pelvis right over the foot. And again, you're right yeah, just touching it. the back of the heel. Come even a tiny bit closer and then you'll find that a little bit more. You can re really feel, really feel the, that. the glute firing, yeah. Yeah, so this is where we're at. Once you start to get to this point, you're now speaking to that glute and asking it to, uh, to fire up. So they're not yoga poses. We're going to come in, we're not going to hold it, and we're going to come out again. You know, when you so, go to that end movement, you know, you feel a bit unsteady, and that's okay though, isn't sure, it? Sure, sure. This is, in fact, that unsteady place is actually the learning, so it's not something we should be afraid of, but it's definitely something that we're not necessarily used to. So right there, you've got your hips right over the pelvis. It's a great shot on down the camera of that angle. So come out one more time, and then in again. We've found the place, and I want you to reach forward with the hands. So straight ahead of you, as if to your, your own 12 o'clock and then come back out again. You could feel it shaking. You really got to the end range there. Yeah. Perfect. But that's, that's an additional movement. The, the key, the, f the first step is to get weight in the feet, yeah. you know, the f in the front of the feet. Perfect. And the pelvis and the hips over this. Sitting that's over step there. one. Yeah. Once you can do that, then you add the hands in, right? Yeah, so we can actually say, if you're, if you're not able to, or if you're not getting to this position, you won't feel the glutes wake up and that kind of defeats the object of the exercise. So getting the pelvis here is critical. At this point, as Rangan says, you should be able to feel it. Yeah. And then as you go from this place, reach the arms forward, so you start to increase the bend at the hip and then come back out again. And so you reach in as far as you can and come out again. And as far as you can is a safe so like guidance this. and back out again. So make sure you go all the way in and out again. So we're actually looking, once you get to the point where you can feel those muscles working, you're looking to do five or six repetitions um, and repeat those through the day. It's not a three sets of 10 because most people then will just do the exercises without any kind of conscious thought on getting the, the butt. So five or six where the, those glutes are actually being targeted and felt, we'll, we'll see you right. So that's the first movement, flex on a step. So four keys there for me. One, get the weight in the front of your foot. Two, get your hips and pelvis over the step. Three, your back leg should be straight and really you're not wanting to feel much weight on that back leg at all. Correct. Yeah. And the fourth one is when you've got that right, you start extending your hands towards your horizon.